Welcome Leo to your weekly reading. This is for the 11th to the 18th of November. We are going to go ahead and see all the possible energies and messages coming through for you for this week. Leo, I'm starting off by looking at the possible energy beginning the week. We'll then go ahead and see the area you should focus on. Thirdly, we are going to look at your possible challenges, if any. We'll then look at messages and advice from Spirit. And finally, the possible outcome of the week. Leo, this is a collective reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. I'm going to start off over here with Five of Wands, and I'm just going to get your clarifier. So we're going to see now what Five of Wands is for Leo, please. Five of Cups. Leo, what I'm seeing here for you is actually very positive. Because what I see is that at the beginning of this week, you are making a concerted effort and or taking great strides forward and getting out of a situation where you have a lot of regrets and remorse. And this could have been something, my dear Leo's, that happened recently. It could have been something that happened in the past. You know, when we regret saying something, when we regret doing something, when we regret not responding in a certain way, whatever this Five of Cups energy is, the energy of crying over spilt milk, I see at the beginning of this week that you're either deciding, that's it, I am not sitting in this energy anymore, I'm going to make great strides forward to release out of it, or my dear Leos, you are releasing out of it. Because as you can see here, they are having a breakthrough here by finding the light out of what seems to be a dark cave. So it's very positive because I see you shaking off any energy that was making you sad, bringing you down, holding you back. And there's a wonderful sense of, okay, that's my past. Let me focus on my present and my future. So it's a very positive start to the week. Let's move on now and see what the hanged man is all about that is sitting in the area you should focus on. Right, let us see now what the hanged man is for Leo, please. The Ten of Cups. Leah, what you're being asked to focus on is an area you've had to hold out for. Wherever you have felt you have been in hanged man energy, hanging in there, waiting for an answer, waiting for an outcome, waiting for somebody to get back to you, waiting to see how things pan out. Wherever you have been holding back, being in hanged man's energy, which is the energy, my dear Leos, of being in God's waiting room. What we are seeing now, this week, my dear Leos, you're going to get very positive feedback with our Ten of Cups coming in. So it tells us you're getting the best possible result. And this could very well relate to this breakthrough light that is coming through there. Or for some of my Leos, it could be in another area completely. It's the energy, my dear Leos, if you've been waiting to see if your application for a new home has been approved. This week, we see that the answer comes through. It's positive, you get the home. Now focus on moving into your new home. Start doing all the admin, start putting everything into play. If you have asked your significant other or a close friend for something, maybe a big favor, or you've asked them to move in with you or to go on vacation with you, and they might have said, that's wonderful, Leo. Just give me some time to think about it. What we see is that they come back with a really good and positive answer. Ten of Cups is our happily ever after card. You, my dear Leos, can expect 
wonderful news to come through. Focus on it and do everything you need to do now to make this a reality. Very nice to see. Now let us move on and see what Ace of Pentacles is that is sitting in your possible challenges. So we want to see now what the Ace of Pentacles is for Leo, please. The Hermit. My dear Leos, the underlying theme we are seeing for you is this energy of waiting, holding, staying back, contemplating, thinking, and then all of a sudden, it's like the door opens and all this possibility and opportunity is rushing in for you. And I don't feel that this is only going to be in one area of your life. And that can make sense because when one great thing opens for us, just say now you get a positive response that you've got the job you've been interviewing for. This will open doors in other areas of your life. Because now perhaps you are earning a better salary. So you're able to move. You're able to buy a car. You're able to go on vacation. So there's this wonderful energy of a door opening and good positive energy flowing in. So that being said, with Ace of Pentacles and the Hermit coming through under possible challenges, I do not feel, my dear Leos, you have any big challenges coming through this week. What we do see is that this energy of the hermit is coming to an end, my dear Leos. And you need to be aware of it. The energy of holding back, thinking, pondering, contemplating. Should I do it? Shouldn't I do it? When will I hear an answer? When will I get an outcome? Is coming to an end. Hand of God is coming in with the Ace of Pentacles, which is a brand new opportunity to walk down new roads. And as you can see in our Ace of Pentacles, we've got all these roots and sprouts growing out of our pentacle. You, my dear Leos, are going to be walking down new paths. I think one opportunity here will be the breakthrough opportunity that will open up many other opportunities for you. So this week, my dear Leos, whatever this main opportunity is that comes through, and for some of you, it will be meeting a new person that's going to change your life significantly. Be it a romantic partner, a new friend, a new boss, a business partner. For other of my Leos, it could be moving, moving from one neighborhood to another. So in this new neighborhood, there'll be new people new, and new experiences. It could be relocating, landing a wonderful new contract in your business. Whatever that first breakthrough energy is, give it time and attention. Because as with all aces, it's the beginning of something. But before you know it, my dear Leos, this is going to grow and expand in many areas. And you're going to feel this energy of growth and fulfillment coming in where you're least expected. Very positive to see. Now let us see what death and rebirth is all about. That is sitting in messages and advice from spirit. So we want to see now what death and rebirth is for Leo, please. And we've got nine of swords. Now Leo, this is the kind of message we want to receive from spirit. Because Spirit is letting you know so beautifully and so clearly, my dear Leos, that if you have been going through the Nine of Swords energy in any way, which is stress, anxiety, worry, sleepless nights, depression, anything like that, and this could have been linked to our Five of Cups, our Hanged Man energy, and even our Hermit energy, having to wait, reminiscing, thinking about what we might have lost or missed. This is now ending. The death energy here is represented by this red scarf, which is depicting the red dress. 
the end of any energy that had you feeling like this, my dear Leos. A new day is dawning for you. And the light of the new day was the first light we saw coming through in our Five of Wands. We saw it here in our Hanged Man energy. We saw it here in our Hermit energy. The light is coming back in and it's going to be shining brighter than ever. Spirit is confirming for you that a new day is dawning for you. Now, Leo, this new day is going to be very relevant to you. It's coming through in an area or areas that mean something to you. So the wonderful news is you're going to be releasing out of this energy naturally as you focus on all this good and wonderful energy coming in. This is going to be a very big and very powerful week for you, my dear Leos. Death and rebirth is a powerful energy. It's a letting go of what no longer works and serves us, letting go of anything that brought us down and embracing the new day. Now let us see what Four of Pentacles is for you that is sitting in the possible outcome of the week. So we want to see now what Four of Pentacles is for Leo, please. The world. Leo, you've got a wonderful week ahead. At the end of the week, we see you encompassing this Four of Pentacles energy. You are leaving this desolate little village behind, which is representing our Nine of Swords, the Hermit, the Hanged Man, and Five of Cups. You have outgrown whatever this is for you, and you are ready to move on. As you can see, our young girl is beautifully dressed. She is ready for this new chapter in her life. In her bag, she's got her Four Pentacles. You have taken everything you have needed out of past experiences and now you are moving on to your future. And then, my dear Leos, you move into the world energy. You walk through that doorway with that smile on your face, your arms wide open, ready to receive your Ten of Cups and your Ace of Pentacles, whatever your new day is bringing in. This lets us know, my dear Leo, that no matter where this is coming through for you, it is the beginning of good and wonderful things about to come in. So you, my dear Leos, encompass that kind of energy. Be ready to walk through the portal to embrace a really good and exciting week. Let's go ahead now and get a message from your guides for the week. So we just want to see now what Leo's guides would like to share with them, please. And you've got priorities. Number 12, Master Teacher. Leo, the number 12 is your lucky number this week. Any combination or variation of the numbers 1 and 2, please consider very auspicious. Master Teacher is coming in and confirming for us so beautifully, my dear Leos, that it's time to pack away anything that doesn't work and doesn't serve you anymore. Put it in that box and seal the box. You, my dear Leos, have a new road to walk down. A new road that is relevant to you, that has possibility of bringing in a lot of happiness joy, new opportunities and possibilities, and you are going to be able to expand your horizons in many wonderful ways. So that is all I have for you right now. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you the most wonderful week, and I am sending you all so much love.